Yeah, this is a um, short video just explaining how the Philips Hue uh, switches and buttons work in uh, the studio. Uh, so the first thing is, this is a button. Um, this one's to control the lights, as you can see. Um, I've got another one just under here on this desk, and then on the other side of the studio, I've got one for uh, the console, which is uh, sequenced so that the networking switch turns on first, uh, and then a minute later, the console itself turns on. I've also got one for the ATC monitors and the, the PSI subwoofer. Uh, and so each monitor has its own socket, uh, the, sub, the left and right, and then the sub. So it's three sockets and they're all paired in the uh, Philips Hue app. Uh, and so it's pretty straightforward. I press this switch here, uh, sorry, this button here, and the modular turns on, and so do the Neumann uh, monitors. Um, and then press it again, and the whole thing turns off. Um, so the Philips ecosystem is not a cheap way to do it. There are other products out there that you can look for. Uh, just look for Zigbee uh, compatible uh, devices. Uh, I quite like Philips Hue because everything's in that ecosystem then. All the lights in the studio, all of the switches, um, things in the machine room as well and also the residence which is uh you know completely separate on a separate uh, uh base station for the for philips hue um so i've been using it now for a couple of years uh it's really reliable there's no extra noise or any interference any problems whatsoever um <clears throat> and i i quite like that i can just put these uh buttons and switches anywhere in the studio uh, and you can be quite specific in, in terms of grouping different devices together, um, having different things come on in sequence, not necessarily from the Philips Hue app, but for things like Apple Home, and there are a couple of iPhone apps uh, that allow you to be a little bit more specific about uh, what you want to turn on and when you want it to turn on. Um, anyway, that's all I wanted to say on that. Thanks very much.